Hey, Rehoboth family, I am so glad to uh, be able to join you again uh, today. Wanted to share a few updates with you and encourage you for a few minutes at the end of our week this week. Uh, for all of us, this is uh, a week that many have described as upside down and downside up. And uh, yet at the same time, we are watching God do extraordinary things in lives all around us. I want to share one of those with you, a message that I received from one of our missionaries that's serving in a country that has gone under complete quarantine, complete lockdown. The only time they can go out is for food, to uh, get groceries and things they need or for medical care. And uh, he wrote and shared with me this morning that they had gone out this morning actually in order to get some food to go to a particular uh, grocery store. And while there, the shop owner asked them if uh, they were afraid. And they shared with the shop owner that in fact they were not afraid. The shop owner said, oh, I understand, you must be a believer. And they were a little surprised and they asked him to explain. And he said, oh, he said, the only people I find who are not afraid right now are those who believe in Jesus Christ. And he said, you must be a believer. And they said, and we, indeed we are. And they asked him, are you afraid? And he said, I am. He said, this is a very hard time in their country. And they asked him if they could pray for him and ask how they could pray for him. And he shared some specific things with them and they took that time right then to pray for him and to pray for his business, pray for his family. When they finished praying with him, tears streaming down his face, he looked up at him and said, Today you have given me something money cannot buy, and I thank you for doing that. Folks, that is a beautiful testimony that in the midst of these really challenging times and days that we don't know what announcements we'll hear this afternoon and what changes we'll experience tomorrow, there really is real hope. And if you walk in Jesus Christ and walk with Him, you can truly know that hope. I am reminded of a verse that we are sharing often these days in Isaiah chapter 33, verse 2. God's Word says, O Lord, be gracious to us. We wait for You. Be our strength every morning. Our salvation in the time of trouble. Indeed He is, and that is our prayer for our entire Rehoboth Church family and for our community, for our nation, for our entire world as we seek the Lord and ask Him to be merciful to us. And at the same time, we stay fully engaged in ministry and caring for those around us and helping those in need. It's really remarkable to see the Lord's guidance in our lives, even in the message series that we as a church family are engaging in right now. Last fall, we were going to start a series of messages on being church family. And we felt the Lord leading us to postpone that. Uh, we did so and we started just a few weeks ago, not even knowing the specifics of all that we would walk into these days. What a timely, timely, timely series of messages for us now. What an appropriate time for us to think about not simply being a church related to any denomination or being an independent church or separated. What's really the focus of Rehoboth is that we're a church family. We'd already begun this focus before this virus began to take the attention of all of our lives. And we're going to continue that focus and we're going to talk more and more about that. We're going to talk about Rehoboth being the Rehoboth church family and living this out in courage and strength and faith, looking for our faith, hope and love to grow during these days as we not only care for our church family, but for those around us. I want to pray for you. And I want to pray even as our missionaries did for that grocery store owner this morning in another country that is facing even more difficult days at this moment than we have so far. I want to pray for you, whatever your needs are, you feel free to contact us and we'll pray specifically for you. Let me pray. Father, we do thank you for the day you've given us, for your great gifts, for your graciousness and goodness to us. Lord, thank You that in this time we can call on You. We can know that You are our strength, that we can lean into You and trust You to care for us and to provide for us. And Father, I pray for our church family. I pray for the business owners and all of those who are providing jobs. Father, I know many, even this morning, talking with one of our business owners and the impact that is already occurring in their business and in their industry Lord, we pray for them. God, I pray You'd give them great wisdom. Give them the means to care well for their employees and their customers during these days. 
Father, we pray for the health care workers and the first responders and our government leaders and all of those on the front line who really are battling this. Father, give them wisdom. Protect them, God, and watch over them. Give them strength. Lord, I pray for the parents who've had to adjust all of their schedules this week and caring for children at home and making all kinds of new arrangements to continue the education of their children. Lord, let these be joyous days in these houses and not days filled with stress. Let them develop great memories and uh, times that they will look back upon and see them as good days and not even as days of sacrifice. Father, for all those who are caring for family who are ill or are at great risk and vulnerable in these days, Father, I pray You would give them wisdom and the strength of perseverance. Oh Lord, we just pray, bring a great movement of Your Spirit in our lives and across this globe. Use these things for good. And oh God, I pray You would bring it to an end. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let me close out by sharing just a couple announcements with you. I shared earlier this week that we are going to invest in your spiritual maturing and multiplying during these days. Uh, We're not going to retreat. In fact, we desire to advance in these days. And this week, we have brought Brad Cohn on. Brad is a pastor who has experience with small groups and discipling ministry and church planting. And we've brought him onto our team to help us in this season. And uh, he's going to be working with our Bible fellowships and our community groups. Really excited about that. You'll be hearing more of what he's doing. And many of you will be in touch with him as he's connecting with your groups. David Thompson, who is our student pastor, already doing a great job connecting with our students and their families. David is going to take on the additional responsibility of working with our deacon leadership. And next week, they'll be sharing some plans for additional ministry efforts they're going to be doing in these days and how they're going to be helping our body and our community and uh, really excited about what they're doing. Our children's ministry, uh, Tina, uh, my wife, leads our children's ministry, Rehoboth Kids. Uh, I've been so excited to hear about what they're doing for our families with children. I believe stuff, uh, resources, and information was mailed out actually to all of those families this week. And if you've not received that yet, you should in the next few days. I have to say a great word of thanks also to our entire Rehoboth team. Ben Ward and Paula and the rest of our media team, all that they have done to help us to be able to communicate, to uh, strengthen our technologies and our ways of communicating with you. Uh, All of those who have worked on our worship service even for this Sunday, so looking forward to that, but I'm very grateful for all that they have done. Speaking of our worship service Sunday, join us at 1030 Sunday morning as we live stream that service. You're really going to be blessed. Uh, Steph will be with us again in worship and uh, we've got some special things for worship uh, this Sunday and I believe you'll really be encouraged. That'll be 1030 on our Facebook page, our website, our YouTube channel. Additionally, you can join us on Sunday night at 6.30 for just a brief time. David Thompson is going to be sharing a brief devotion with you in a time of prayer. You don't want to miss it. It's going to encourage you as you conclude this week and begin your week for next week. In addition to that, our church offices remain open. And if you need help, if you want someone just to pray with you, call us, email us. We'd ask you not to come by, but call us or email us and we will be glad to continue to serve you and to help you. And finally, I want to encourage you to be a part of a community group or Bible fellowship. It's the greatest way as being a part of the Rehoboth Church family for you to grow, to be cared for, and to do ministry during these days. Rehoboth family, I love you and I look forward to being with you again on Sunday morning.